Once upon a time, there were two orphans, a boy and a girl, left to fend off the world on their own. Until I took them in. I'm Al. I run the academy, a training ground for boys and girls of um, unique talent. So now they have me and each other, and it's cool. They're growing up fast, real fast. He's a prize-winning surfer, a poet, and an expert safe cracker. She knows fencing, etiquette, and explosives. They're masters of disguise, martial arts experts, and fluent in 20 languages. They're Delilah and Julius, and they're saving the world one crime at a time, baby. Picture says a thousand words, Daddy O's, but you only need one to describe this snapshot. Ouch! Mysterious spies turned public heroes. My stomach did somersaults when I saw this doozy man. Couldn't even finish my horoscope this morning. Those people aren't us, Al. We weren't anywhere near Vancouver yesterday. Are you positive about that? The Academy Jets autopilot ain't perfect, you know. Case in point, the famous Krakatoa Kookamunga mix-up. Al, you know we'd never let ourselves be ID'd on camera like that, let alone hog the spotlight. Remember that case where we posed as celebs and got chased by the stalkerazzi? Even then we managed to stay out of the tabloids. I don't mean to ruffle your feathers, chickadees. Just ruling out the possibilities. It means some pair of dashing, handsome spies are impersonating my dashing, handsome spies. The public doesn't even know we exist. How did we get impersonators? That's what I want you to find out. I'm sending you out west to put the kibosh on these copycats. If anyone traces this story back to the Academy... We know, we know. Our cover will be blown and the GIB will shut us down for good. More turmoil is the last thing you need, huh, Al? After Monday's laundry incident, you're having a pretty bad week so far. Laundry incident? <laughs> what laundry incident? I didn't say impersonating journalists was a bad idea. I said breaking in was faster. It's not against the rules for spies to have fun on the job, you know. Depends on how you define fun. I like breaking in. Aha! And it was faster. Some anonymous source has been feeding the papers all kinds of stories about this so-called Delilah and Julius. <laughs> Searching for our target's base of operations here. Uh, no need. I just discovered where they live. Off West 4th Avenue, that's in the suburb of Kitsilano. You got that from one photograph? Well, it's like Al said. Picture says a thousand words, man. Good work, Julius. Huh? The name Parker Steele ring a bell, sugar? Hard-nosed investigative journalist who almost broke a story on secret spy academies a few years back. That's right, sugar. He's at it again, man! If anyone was gonna trace a pair of teenage spies, imposters are not to our academy. You knew it would be him, honey. He's even managed to sleuth out our location and is on his way now to get the exclusive. Hmm. Emergency relocation protocol, Scarlet. No time, baby. Then we'll have to play dress up. We have to convince him the Academy is something other than a spy school. Like, say, your garden variety boarding school. Hop to it, baby. Far out, man. And you can start by changing those threads, sugar. A little more formal and a lot less holy, baby. <laughs> Julius, I can feel it. How can you be so sure? Invisible electric fence, infrared heat detectors, motion-activated lasers. Who else would need this kind of high-tech protection in the suburbs? Your protective parents? Paranoid suburbanites? <laughs> no. Deactivating electric fence. Done. If they were average paranoid suburbanites, they'd have a watchdog. Initiating camera analysis. Maybe they're allergic. 
you know, they do have hypoallergenic breeds now. Commencing video signal bypass. You have an answer for everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Bypass complete. Cameras disabled. Statues, photos, portraits. This room isn't a collection, it's a shrine. To us. <laughs> Welcome! Uh, Delilah, did you clone me? Trying to figure out how the Julia's magic works? That is so touching. Yeah, I cloned you. I thought it could diffuse some of your personality. Oh, we're not clones. Just fans. Delilah and Julius! So, uh, how do you guys know so much about us? <laughs> Julius. That's like a chef asking the dishwasher how to cook. We're all spies here. We all know the tricks of the trade. Yeah, but the startling resemblance can't be a coincidence. A little cosmetic enhancement goes a long way. Most couples hold hands in public and cuddle during movies, but, but to hold hands on covert ops and cuddle during stakeouts. Mm, it's amazing. Spying together has brought us closer together, just like it did for you two, surely. Surely? Um, hmm, guys. While it's flattering to be impersonated, uh, you're compromising our anonymity and that of our agency. Hmm. I like the aggressive stance you take while sounding light. Very confident. <laughs> I'll have to work on that. All right, the copycat shtick has to stop. Don't make us bring you in for obstructing justice. So what you're telling us is there can only be one D&J? Fine. Then it'll have to be us. <laughs> they took that well. a number of anonymous tips that your so-called boarding school is a top secret spy training facility. Dude, please. I, I, I mean, Mr. Steele. 
a respected journalist like yourself should know never to accept anonymous tips as a uh, fact. An additional background check with the Department of Education failed to find any mention of this place. Uh, naturally, what kind of exclusive boarding school would we be if everybody knew about us? Level 4 laboratory, huh? Sounds secretive. What's in here? Spy equipment? Military plans? Gentlemen, it's hard enough for my students to dissect worms without your incessant chattering outside. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever done. And I ain't acting. God. Don't make me call the hall monitor. She didn't even know what half her weapons were. His swords are just showpieces. And as you know, it's sarin gas, not sorum gas. Question is, who are they working for? And what is this hostage situation? In which order should I cut these wires in? That one. Oh. Come on, we gotta find a hostage situation. It's breaking news. Someone's taken over the Sky Train. How did they know about a hostage situation? They were fighting with us. Well, why don't we see where they're heading? Hey, uh, how did you know I tagged my double when we were fighting? You did? Oh, well, I guess great minds think alike. <laughs> they're not going to the Sky Train. Looks like they're headed to the airport. Come on! What about the hostage situation? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's waiting for us. Check out all the pictures of the happy couple. Recognize the scenery? Con Man's Island. I know that big volcano anywhere. Were being caught? We were. How we doing? Closing in. It looks like traffic slowed to a halt. <laughs> now what? Well, everyone needs a shoulder to speed on. We should go to the police. And go to jail? Come on, let's hurry. Can I help you with your luggage? No thanks. Great to see you again. Not so bad. Talk. You heard the lady. Talk. Now. I'll admit I was skeptical, Mr. Chancellor, but I found zero evidence of any spy academy here. Your boarding school checks out. What would your tuition cost be for, say, my school-aged daughter? You couldn't afford it. Whoa. 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 I knew it. I knew something was fishy. This is a spy academy. Well, Mr. Chancellor, you can expect my full expose in tomorrow's... We should have just done that when he got here, huh? We were supposed to lure you to the Sky Train. Oh, he thought we'd be so busy trying to figure you guys out that we wouldn't think about traps. When we heard about the bomb, we, we freaked out. We're not killers, we're actors. The bomb was meant for you, too. Erase all traces of the con. What? Oh. Calm down, baby. Oh. Just remember your breathing exercises. What? What? Come on, we're out here. What? What, what? what about us? Well, unless you want to spend most of your life in jail, you better get those acting chops working. You're going to help us con con, man. You heard me, coppers. Throw the ransom money into the conductor's car at the Nymo station. You'll get your hostages after that. We were supposed to wait for you to follow us here, then jump on and lure you to the right car. That's what we're gonna do, only we're switching places. I don't know if I can do this. You have to. The con man has to think everything's going according to plan or he'll get spooked. You need 30 seconds to disarm the bomb before you jump in after us. Good luck. been a 
good planner. <laughs> nice working with you, Patsy. But when the real D and J arrive, you'll have to say goodbye together. <laughs> Who's no Don't worry, we're here to save you. Without being obvious, I need to know where she put the bomb. I'll block the window. Oh, 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 we have a problem. This thing's booby-trapped. We don't have a problem. You'll just have to work faster. I need a piece of gum, freshly chewed. Slow down. We still have to wait 15 seconds. I damped the booby trap. I just need to shut off the bomb. Three, two, one. Ugh. Goodbye, hostages. Goodbye, Delilah and Julius. What? Woo! Who wants their gum back? How did you idiots manage to defuse that bomb? Those two idiots didn't. These two idiots did. We have to jump. Right. You're crazy. There's no way anyone could make that jump. She's not anyone. Do something good for once. Keep the hostages relaxed. Take the credit when the rescue team comes, and we'll see what we can do about reducing your sentence. Let's go! Happy derailment, chumps! but the world thinks they're heroes. And we never existed. I give them credit, you know? They're good actors. <laughs> but terrible spies. And now, reporter Parker Steele's expose on the mysterious Spy School Academy story. Parker? It's a boarding school, Chuck. That's all. I'm going home. Well, uh, but, but, Parker, what about your theory that the Academy is a high-tech spy training facility? Garbage Chuck, kudos to Chancellor Al for running such a tight ship. And uh, this exemplar. Exemplar. Wonderful boarding school. This is Parker Steele reporting. What's up, Scarlet? The phone's ringing off the hook, honey. Mamas and Papas dying to send their babies to Chancellor Al's boarding school. All thanks to Parker Steele's groovy report. Enjoy. I ain't answering a single call till I get my bathrobe back, man. I can't work under these conditions. Well, another job well done, Dee. You know, I always wondered what clones of us would be like. I have to say, they don't compare at all. So humble. <sighs> I can't wait to get home and get some sleep. d and you can't land yet. Why not, Nosy? The runway's totally covered with camouflage, dude. Clearing it off's gonna take a few hours. I'll call you when we're done. Nosy out. Looks like we've got some time to kill. Time we could use to, say, have dinner in St. John's? Julius, is this a date? Oh, we need some photo ops of our own, don't you think? I have a question. 
If the whole thing was for our benefit, are those two really in love, you think? Delilah, I couldn't care less what those two are. Right? Dinner in Newfoundland. <laughs>